morning, everyone. Buongiorno. I'm standing at the pot in Naples. <laughs> this is the pot. Very sunny day. I think the weather will be very nice today. And uh, today is a very important day for me because I'm going to Capri and it's been one of my dream destinations for over 20 years right now because I'm a huge fan of Mariah Carey and um, ever since I heard she talk about Capri and how she recorded some of her songs uh, for the album Rainbow like about 20 years ago now and I, I saw the music videos I've been obsessed it's been a fascination and also such a fantasy for me uh, to go to Capri and it's so far away from Hong Kong and also from Australia and so now I'm finally going there and so I hope you can join me today and I just took a pill for seasickness so I hope I don't get too sick yesterday was really tough going on a minibus to Positano and also to Sorrento the Amalfi Coast the dr that drive along the cliff so many turns and the traffic as well is it just got me really stressful and I had to uh, buy some pills for seasickness I hope you can uh, watch this video just fine because I don't have a gimbal with me and uh, <laughs> um, so I I'll try to be very steady with my hands and um, yeah I hope you can join me to Capri After one hour of boat trip, we finally arrived Capri! I'm so excited! It's now 10.15 and um, I don't know what we're gonna do but I'm just so 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 happy because the weather is really sunny and very beautiful. decided to give us some free time like four hours of free time to explore the free by ourselves and then I decided to come and look at the water first <laughs> it's so blue it's different shades of blue and it's really really pretty and so um, yeah the island is really crowded but uh, my mood is so excited so never mind I like the party mood on Capri a lot of people come here for fun for some sun and um, 
look at this sea. Ah, so nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk around for about two hours and then yeah, get some nice lunch. Ah, I wish you could join me. So nice. So the pub is called Marina Grande and I'm now walking up this little street. So it's actually a bit dangerous, a lot of cars here. So I better go back to the other side. Fast and furious. The Italiano, they drive so fast. But anyway, I'm just walking out, walk around. Because I don't think I want to take the buses. Because I, I'm not sure if on the way back I need to wait for a long time for a bus to come back to the Marina Marina Grande, the pot. So buses. I think. Anyway, today's a really beautiful day. And so let's go up there and check it out. finished my peach and then I have my umbrella from Hong Kong 100% UV protection so I think I'll continue to walk for lunch up there with this umbrella I think I'll be able to walk up there it's so bright but the view is amazing I hope I get this view at the restaurant I finally arrived at the center of Capri. <laughs>
You there? Okay. Oops, I'm being called. Okay, I gotta stop, but there yeah, you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. energy to walk around to look for a restaurant so I had lunch right here next to Prada in the center of Capri and now it's 2 10 so let's go back to Marina Grande <laughs> to go on boat trip the waiter called me crazy for walking up he said, why don't, why didn't you take the bus? <laughs> uh, but I wanted to walk and now I think I only have like 20 minutes to go back to the pot. I think it's better that I walk down uh, because the big bus, I think there are a lot of people waiting. It's a long queue. So I think I've just walked down. Follow me. I walked down from the center to the pot in a record time, 12 minutes. And now we are on this big boat going to explore Capri Island. <laughs> they sound so drunk. So this cave is full of stalactite and stalamite and when we get closer, if you look inside the cave on the top, behind the railing, you will see a white stalagmite that looks like a Virgin Mary. If you remove your sunglasses, you will see better. Se levate gli occhi in sole vedrete meglio. E qui sto bene per dare sport, ma la situazione è differente. Abajo la erosión del mar, en el centro la erosión del viento y arriba la erosión de la lluvia. Aquí puede venir aquí el tren alto, pues no la pioggia. Here you can also see three different types of erosion. The lower part, the erosion of the sea, in the middle, the erosion of the wind, in the top, the erosion of the rain.
now this bank belongs to a cultural foundation and it's not open for the public anymore. Quindi alla vostra destra vedete questa villa rossa, questa era la villa di Corzio Malaparte, un famoso scrittore italiano. Ed è rossa una forma di martello perché Corzio Malaparte era un comunista. Antes di pesarsi. Quindi siamo arrivati al momento più romantico di questo giorno. E now guys, I ask you a question. Do you want to go through the arch? Yes. Sì. I think that it's not loud enough. Yes. Ok, let's go through the arch. Yes. Now, guys, you have only two options. The first option is to kiss your partner. The second one is to jump from the boat. There are no other options, ok? La prima opzione è bisogna baciarvi, la seconda è abbandonare la nave, ok? Are you ready for the kiss? Listo para el beso, pronti per il bacio. And three, two, one, and kiss, 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 kiss. Beso, beso, beso. Bacio, bacio, bacio. Tuam, tuam, tuam. a beautiful picture of the arch of love behind you. Before, this hotel became the HQ of the Ally during World War II. And in this hotel, the Prime Minister of Britain, Winston Churchill, met with the future president of the United States, Eisenhower. Now, they come to the right and they look at Marina piccola, la baia più esclusiva dell'isola, qui si riesce a guardare la barca e gli otto molto costosi. E se guardate alla vostra destra vedete anche le ville dei VIP, una delle strade più famose dell'isola, costruita per Friedrich Calle Cru, una della scaglia più famosa della Isola dei Capri, costruita per Friedrich Carpe Cru, un businessman alemán che teneva una casa nel centro della isola, in un po' di Benito Mussolini, during the fascist mirror, a famous Italian dictator. And now it's the villa of the Gerber family, an American family that produces kids' food. Entonces, ahora a la derecha, arriba, podemos esperar una villa que parece un casita para niños. Y en todo esto, vedete questa villa que sembra un castello. Questa era la villa di Benito Mussolini durante el fascismo. Y ahora está partida la familia Gerber, una familia americana que produce homogeneizada.
we have 8,000, in total is 12,000 people in the eye. Here someone is loud like... Thanks for joining me on my first day in Capri. It was a lovely Friday and one of the happiest days in my life. On Saturday, I visited the more tranquil side of Capri, including the magnificent gardens and taking the chairlift to the very top part called Anna Capri. See you in part two.